reported your experiences with the UAP, did any of you face any repercussions with your superiors, yes or no? No. No. I've actually never seen anything personally, believe it or not. So. <laughs> All right. Um, and then do, do you believe there's an active disinformation campaign within our government to deny existence of UAPs, yes or no? I don't have an answer to that. As previously stated publicly, yes. I think previously with like Project Blue Book, yes, but currently I don't speak for the United States government. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a few questions for Mr. Graves. Um, what percentage of UAP sightings in your belief go unreported by our pilots? This is an approximation based off of my personal experience speaking with a number of pilots, but I would estimate we're somewhere near 5% reporting perhaps. So like 95% basically don't report seeing UAPs. That's just my personal estimate. Um, in the incident off Virginia Beach, do you believe the Navy took the danger to your aircraft seriously after it was reported? Absolutely. Um, a few questions for Mr. Favor. As an expert naval aviator, have you ever seen an object that looked and moved like the Tic Tac UAP? No. Did the Tic Tac UAP move in such a way that defied the laws of physics? The way we understand them, yes. Many dismiss UAP reports as classified weapons testing by our own government, but in your experience as a pilot, does our government typically test advanced weapon systems right next to multi-million dollar jets without informing our pilots? No, we have test ranges for that. It took over 15 years for your encounter with the Tic Tac to be declassified. Do you feel there was a good reason to prevent lawmakers from having access to this footage? No, I just think it was ignored when it happened, and it just sat somewhere in a file. Never got reported. In a drawer. It happens a lot up here. <laughs> Shocker. Um, Mr. Grush, uh, a couple of questions for you, too, sir, this morning. Um, what percentage of UAPs do you feel are adequately investigated by the U.S. government? Of the 5% that are reported. <laughs> um, I can only speak for uh, my personal leadership over at NGA. I tried to look at every report that came through that mm -hmm. I could triage. So. Do you believe that officials at the highest levels of our national security apparatus have unlawfully withheld information from Congress and subverted uh, our oversight authority? There are certain elected leaders that had more information that I'm not sure what they've shared with certain Gang of Eight members or et cetera, but uh, certainly uh, I would not be surprised. Okay. You've stated that the government is in possession of potentially non-human spacecraft. Based on your experience and extensive conversations with experts, do you believe our government has made contact with intelligent extraterrestrials? Something I can't discuss in public setting. Um, okay, I can't ask when you think this occurred. <laughs> um, if you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. And was this documentary evidence, this video, photos, eyewitness, like how would that be determined? The specific documentation I would have to talk to you in a skiff about. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay. So, and, and you may or may not be able to answer my last question, and maybe we get into a skiff at the next hearing that we have, but who in the government either, what agency, sub-agency, what contractors, who should be called into the next hearing about UAPs, either in a public setting or even in a private setting? And, and you probably can't name names, but what agencies or organizations, contractors, et cetera, do we need to call in to get these questions answered, whether it's about funding, what programs are happening, and what's out there? I can give you a specific cooperative and hostile witness list of specific individuals uh, that were in those. And, and how soon can we get that list? I'm happy to provide that to you after the hearing. Hey guys, Chris here from Amazine Outdoors. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment, and turn on notifications for Amazine Outdoors if you want to see more videos like this. Amazine Outdoors is a skull hanging company based out of Michigan. We use locally sourced steel to CNC plasma cut and fabricate all of our products. Our motto is simple, effective, and affordable. There are no fancy names or over-engineered designs. 
The hangers are built around the skull itself to allow you to securely hang your skull anywhere you please. They are priced with hunters in mind so you don't have to spend big money to hang your big bucks. AmazonOutdoors.com <laughs>